So, I was going to do a live stream and I thought better of it. Because what I want to say isn't really going to take that long. And it's just a lot of it is the culmination of what I've decided is kind of just the culmination of some issues with YouTube that I've been going through for a very long time. That I'm just tired of certain situations and conditions on YouTube that, for whatever reason, I can't seem to overcome. And I don't know if it's that I'm shadow banned, I don't know if it's all the marketing that other people have done regarding my name, my reputation. I don't know if it's, uh... Well there, Corky boy, let me clue you in here. You're not shadow banned. It's just that the material that you come up with when you talk about your philosophical BS, nobody wants to hear it. It's boring. The other... You, no one marketed you. You marketed yourself. So, you know. Just, I, I, I honestly don't know what it is. But there's definitely certain conditions that I can change. And as much as I like making videos, I don't have the audience that I want. I don't have the audience that I need. I don't have the audience that I deserve. You do have the audience that you deserve. You have an audience of people who laugh at you. And I deserve more. Problem is, I have had for a very long time people wanting me to be a certain thing. A certain thing that I'm just not capable of being. But unfortunately, um, these people have been very successful at making me look like that thing to others. You look like just what you are. If it walks like a duck, if it talks like a duck, well, then it's a duck. If it walks like a lulz cow and it talks like a lulz cow, then it's a lulz cow. I've been made to look like a drunk. A misogynist, a sexist, uh, a uh, racist, a, a, a criminal. I've been made to look like everything under the sun. Well, you've been made to look like a racist because you say black people have lower IQs. You said that. Nobody else said that. You said it. You've been made to look like a criminal, well, because you are one. And nobody really wants to hear my side. Uh... You've expressed your side plenty of times. You've made plenty of hour-long videos, two-hour-long videos of you going over and over and over of your side of the story. The problem is you're not getting out your story. Nobody's believing it because we all know it's BS. They'll ask questions about it, but it's only questions meant to remind me of all the bad things that have happened in my life bad things that happen because of the choices you made. Not necessarily because of YouTube. Although, you could argue that a lot of it has happened because of YouTube. I would have never met Tim Maris if not for YouTube. I would have never been turned into a felon. I would have never had um, a lot of situations. Really horrible situations happen to me. Not because of YouTube, but because of people watching my videos who they themselves are pretty horrible people you're a pretty horrible person you stole a house you spent the money and you never paid them back that's a horrible thing right there and then you tried to steal another house and got caught nobody else did that but you you can argue um, Tim Maris took advantage of your stupidity and got you to sign the papers and he kept half the money. You could argue that. And I mean, I could go into the whole psychology of it, but what's the point? I, because I mean, the psychology of it is there are really horrible people who want to pretend 
that humans are these degenerate, horrible things that, you know, life, that it's, it's the life is suffering crowd. And the only way they get... Well, I am not part of the life is suffering cloud or crowd. And neither is Rabbit Old Bat. And neither is Carrie. And neither is TJ. And neither is Blue. In fact, I'm living the best, my best life right now. I'm farming like I've always wanted to. I'm living a good life. So I don't know where you're coming from. You're the only one who's going through that. You're the only one who's miserable with their life because you're living the choices you made. You feel powerful is by making other people suffer. Nobody's making you suffer. You're suffering because of the consequences of your choices. And unfortunately, when the narcissist realizes he can use the legal system to oppress his victim. Yeah. Nobody's using the legal system against you. At least nobody I know of is doing that. You use the system to use the legal system to oppress the Murphy family. And you also tried to use the legal system to oppress the Gonzalez family. And, I mean, I've done a lot of great things, a lot of good things. Nobody cares about those things. They do care about the negative stuff. Boy, they just, you know, oh, do you remember you're a virgin? Oh, do you remember you're old? Oh, do you remember? Well, I can only speak for myself, but I remember all the funny stuff. That's what I like. You've done some goofy things in your life and you streamed it on YouTube for all to see. <laughs> when you got dragged across the street, oh, do you remember when you were in prison? Oh, do you remember when? It's like, it's, it's all this like, let's go down memory lane. Look at, all, look at all the horrible choices that you've made and all the horrible things that have happened to you and every negative, nasty thing in your life that's happened. I'm just, I'm tired. I'm tired of it. Well, if you'd quit trying to retcon your past, maybe people wouldn't bring it up as much. Hmm? What about that, Quirky? You keep saying you're innocent when you pled guilty, and before you got caught, you were bragging about it. I stole the house. Fraud, fraud, fraud. You did that. None of the trolls did that. Nobody did that but you. And it's like I do a live stream like I did last night. And... You know, it's just, it's all the negative backhanded comments. It's all the, it's all the backhanded compliments. It's all the, it's all the smartassery. Then don't read the comments, dumbass. I mean, if they bother you so much, you read them while you're driving. You're doing driving streams and reading them and, and, and kicking people out of the rooms while you're going down the road. Well, guess what? Eventually it's going to catch up to you. And it's all going to be your fault. You know, I've made no mistake that prison felt like high school. I've made no, I, I've made no bones about that at all. I've been like, this reminds me of fucking high school. Did you get your booty hole pummeled while you were in high school? Good Lord, what kind of high school did you go to? I mean, growing up, all it was was just negative, 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 negative. Did you ever come to think... That negativity is drawn to you because you're negative? Huh? You ever thought about that, Corky? You're negative and you draw in negativity. Think about it. And if they weren't out, outright trying to fuck you over, outright slandering you, well, they were working behind the scenes. They were working behind the scenes to undermine you in every fucking twist and turn. Walk up to you with a smile on their face and being like, ah, eh, and then, you know, it's one of the reasons why I'm not a fucking Christian anymore. If you're not a Christian anymore, that means you never were a Christian to begin with, okay? Um, that's one. And because people picked on you in high school and in prison, now that's because you're, that's why you're not a Christian anymore. You just never were a Christian. That's all there is to it. And you're just looking for excuses to point the finger at Christians because you hate Christians, you hate atheists, you hate veterans. 
Um, you hate all these different groups, and you look for excuses to um, justify your hatred. Oh, we gotta love Jesus. Don't you love Jesus too? Well, how about loving me? How about showing me some compassion, some respect? One, this is something you never learned in your life. Respect is earned. You've never earned any respect from anybody. That's number one. And Christianity isn't about loving Nick Bravo or loving Darren Darren or loving Rabbit Old Bad or Carrie or anybody else. It's about loving other people other than yourself. And that's why you never be, never got along with Christian or got along with Christianity because you don't want to care about other people. You want people to care about you, but you don't want to. So you couldn't be a Christian or a Buddhist or even a Muslim for that matter. Um, n no religion is about Corky and, and everybody loving Corky. That's why you have your own made up religion or you're an atheist you just don't like the fact that you're an atheist i don't know what the hell you are nobody does i don't think you even know we all know you're not a christian because you don't have the attitude of caring about others besides if you were a christian you would have never stole that house and you would have never tried to steal the house from the murphy family and you would have never made up all those lies about happy cabby who bent over backwards to help you even buying you a computer giving you a place to live and feeding you. And when he was too unhealthy to do that anymore, you turned on him because you're a snake in the grass. That's what you are, Corky. So don't, don't give us your bullshit. It's so negative, poor Corky. Maybe if you cared more about strangers or something, you know, something. Maybe if you weren't such a narcissist. You, but you never listen. You always think everybody else is a narcissist, except for looking at yourself to see yourself as a narcissist. Some fucking basic human decency. It's choice. It is a choice. It's an absolute fucking choice. Because these same people who they will be as nasty as they can be. Just Cry me a river, Corky. You're the one who always starts it. You had to start. Start in with rabbit old bat went after you because of the things you said about veterans. And then you have to go on and, and make streams about how she's not a veteran, which she is. You have to call Carrie all kinds of horrible things. And, uh, and TJ, because you have a man crush on TJ. So we'll just put that one aside. But, you know, you bring it all up. You're the one who starts the shit. You started it with Blue. You called Blue a pet pedo. A PDF file. And then you're butt hurt because he says something about you and and reacts to it negatively. And then you call Carrie a hoe, and you call her all kinds of sexual deviant kind of weird, which shows where your mind is kind of things. And then you say shit about her husband and Rabbit Old Bat's husband, who don't even have anything to do with you. Well, maybe Michael might mention you something in TJ streams, but. Rabbit old bat's husband don't even talk about you. And you have to bring him up and say bad things about him. But then you cry like a little pussy when they say it about you. That's it. You all have a good day and a better tomorrow. You 